Hello ghouls and gals, it be here again, bringing you another commentary. Uh, today I'm playing Free For All on Hanoi, um, Call of Duty Black Ops obviously. Um, so I just did a commentary for a team deathmatch on Radiation. Uh, let me go over my class. I'm using Ghost, Sleight of Hand Pro, Marathon, uh, M16 with the ACOG scope, uh, Frag Grenade, and Nova Gas, and Claymores as equipment. Um, so, oh yeah, so, um, if you're wondering why I'm using such a strange setup, uh, it's because I bought the uh, contract, the one where you have to get like 75 kills with the M16 or something, and um, I think the only attachments I have are the, I think I actually only have this, this ACOG scope on it, um, but I don't mind because I was playing uh, in combat training one time. Uh, oh, my iPod just okay. I was playing in combat training one time for fun, and um, one of my friends joined in. I was actually not even paying attention, but one of my friends did join in, and um, he had an M16 with uh, an ACOG scope and a silencer, and I picked it up when he died, and I started using it, and I was like, "Wow, this gun's this is pretty. It's pretty good." Um, I I don't know if it's because of the uh, of I don't know what it feels like to me. It's probably just me, but when I use silencers, it feels like not only does it weaken the gun, but it slows down the fire rate, and I don't know, it just kind of messes it up a lot. But it seems that when you use an ACOG scope or any kind of uh, reflex or red dot sight, it kind of makes like I don't know, it just kind of makes it better. Like I just I just think there's a better feel to it. Um, even maybe decreasing the the uh, wait times like between the bursts so like you'll be able to sh like have a faster fire rate in that you can shoot your bursts a lot quicker rather than having a little bit of the, like time delay in between so that's just me I don't know I just like the, the ACOG scope on this it's a it's pretty good feel um, and uh, yeah that's why I'm using it um, so it's pretty good I don't know what that guy's doing there and I love how he just pulls out his RC car, and then somehow he dies, and his RC car disappears. I have no idea what happened there. Um, I didn't bother going to theater mode, theater mode to like look at what happened to him on on his side, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to use the M16 as much as I can uh, in this game to uh, rack up kills for the challenge. Uh, sorry, I mean the contract. Um, this is also a kind of old game as well. This game was actually my last game before I hit second prestige. I recently hit second prestige uh, and went up to level 10 second prestige in like uh, one um, one session. So this one I believe I am first prestige level 50 uh, and this was the game that I used to either max it out or just get like a whole lot of XP on it. But this was just like a, an older game before I hit second prestige. Um, so there's the little RC car, and then I realized it must have came from around here. So see this guy, really aware, just kill him, whatever. Uh, so yeah, um, I recently uploaded uh, another gameplay on uh, Radiation uh, for Team Deathmatch, where I got like dogs and like a pretty good kill streak and um, nice little quad feed. But um, that game I did do better than this game. Um, so I think. Yeah, I, I think I do better in that game than I do this game, but um, this game is still okay. Like it's it's not it wasn't a terrible game as you can see so far. I'm doing all right. Um, so the end score of this game was uh, pretty decent, I guess. Like um, again, it wasn't like some amazing crazy score, but uh, it's a score that's good enough that I'd be happy with if I got it pretty much every game. So yeah. Um, so I think I hate this. Oh no, it's not this part. I remember this is one part where I walked into that room and I just get crazy commando lunged by some guy. But, um, oh my! I think my kill shoots are uh, spy plane, uh, napalm strike, and attack helicopter. So yeah. Um, let's see what to talk about. Um, I, oh, actually, I'm actually leading by a lot, as you can see. Um, score is now 1100 to 450 which I think is like like nine kills whereas I have like 22 so that's a pretty decent lead I, I suppose you could say um, 
So yeah, I, I just thought this this was a pretty good gameplay considering using a, a burst weapon in M16. Um, whereas normally I use fully autos. Uh, so I thought it was pretty good, so that's why I decided to upload it. I see that RC car there, and I was like trying to jump out of the way, but it was just far too late for me to even like try to escape. So I died. What can you do? Those things are crazy. Um, oh, and just before this game, uh, no, a couple games before this, I I had I already got like I have a lot of pros, pro perks. Um, but like I have the pro perks unlocked, but I actually don't buy them. Uh, Claymore, how awesome. Um. But yeah, I, I bought Slide of Hand Pro, and it's actually pretty, pretty good. Um, it's a lot more effective than I thought. Now, that was a terrible dive. Completely missed the door there, but I still escaped the Napalm Strikes or whatever. But Slide of Hand Pro is um, actually really useful. Um, I was, I'm still debating over whether I'm going to unlock Slide of Hand or Steady Aim first, and which Pro would be better, because... Um, I think if you if you if you try to measure them in terms of if you're rushing and running and then you just so happen to see a guy and you have to stop and shoot, I think in both of them I'm not sure which one would allow you to shoot shoot quicker. So I'm still trying to debate over which one I get, but I, I did get Slide of Hand Pro and uh, it does make your aim significantly faster, so it was pretty good. It's uh it's much more useful than it was in Mono for two, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like Slide of Hand Pro, uh, especially because I'm using an ACOG scope on an M16, so that makes it kind of slow, but, like, I am liking it. Oh, I think this might be the crazy commando lunge. I'm trying to get the guy here with a pistol, and then some super crazy lunge. And I did watch that in theater mode, he did not even touch me, but it's Call of Duty, what can you do? Um, so the game's coming up to an end soon. I have no idea what that what that guy was doing over there, and here's some strange game winning kill. Uh, guy trying to commando lunge me again. So that was the game. It was pretty good. Um, it's pretty intense. Had a fun fun time playing it. Uh, again, like I said, a weird final kill cam here. Not quite sure what my final score is. 30 and 5 for 8. 30 and 8. Yeah, ratio of 3.75, and yeah, that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.